The county has a total of nearly 30 vaccination points of dispensing, or pods, and superstations to administer COVID-19 vaccines. Overall, the region has put over 1.12 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines into the arms of San Diegans. County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher said the region continues to remain at the top of the state in the number of vaccinations administered. Almost 25% of San Diegans have received at least one dose and one shot. Um, but there are shortages, and the bulk of what is being honored right now are second-dose appointments. Uh, we honor those first, and then with what's left, uh, we make first-dose appointments available. After prioritizing 20% of the county's vaccine doses for teachers in late February, Fletcher sent out a tweet earlier today saying, We have now offered a first-dose vaccine to all our teachers and school staff in San Diego County. Retail pharmacies continue offering COVID-19 vaccine appointments that can be booked online as part of the federal retail pharmacy program. And at this point, our goal is to expand. We are ready as a company to deliver 20 to 25 million shots a month across our company. And we definitely have that infrastructure over 10,000 locations to be able to do so. But who is getting the shots is part of the larger issue of vaccine equity. Supervisor Nora Vargas said that the county is trying to address that roadblock through different initiatives. Some of the interventions and the programs in place in some of the hardest hit communities, including highlighting the Promotora program, our 211 expansion, the pilot walk up sites, the no appointment South Bay Superstation at the Board of View, YMCA, and Otay Mesa. I'm really proud to announce that these programs have been successful and they are working. Starting Monday, March 15th, vaccine eligibility will expand again, this time to people aged 16 to 64 with underlying health conditions subject to vaccine availability. To book an appointment, check the county's website or the website of pharmacies near you. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.